Uganda needs to benchmark from countries rich in technology to achieve the 2040 goal on digital transformation. The ICT minister Chris Bariomose says enough resources should be allocated to ICT in training and research. Move faster as Uganda, as African countries, but that requires us to allocate more resources into the area of ICT because research is going on and many technologies are being brought on board. We may not have to reinvent the wheel to come up with these technologies. We just need to draw lessons from those countries which already have those technologies and see how to adapt them and how to integrate them within our system. Government is yet to acquire a loan from the Exim Bank to facilitate connection of all districts on digital platforms and ease communication across public agencies. Government transitioning from manual processes to electronic and digital services. The Ministry of ICT's partnership with Huawei will boost digital transformation. Campus network solutions. Campus network is uh, the land network. Networks in offices, in schools, in industries and all that. To show them what is the latest in the industry and to show them that it's not very hard to get there. As technology grows, cyber security becomes a concern where everyone must be protected. The executive director Nita Yu says plans are underway to strengthen cyber security across the spectrum. To form a committee, a committee of cyber security experts, cross -cut cutting all sectors of the economy. So cyber security is not just in information technology. We are, we are now going to petroleum and gas. We have transport. Someone can hack your transport system. You may think uh, transport is not prone to cyber, but attack, but it can be. Joshua Kagoro, Miria Nwomjisha, UBC News.